Hey everybody, how you doing? George here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a click track in Reaper. Uh, generally, I'll set up a click track when I want to record and have everything in time, and then I'll take the click out later. And also, when my band records songs, we generally set up a template for the song with a click. So I just wanted to show you how I do it, and hopefully it helps you. Thank you so much. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Okay, so here we are in Reaper. We are going to insert a track. And then we are going to go to options. Is it options? Okay, let's, <laughs> let's learn how to do this together. No, uh, insert. Okay, here we go. Insert click source. Okay, now once you insert the click source, you can grab it and make it as long as you want. And what I usually do is sometimes I play in odd bars. So what I'll do is I will items, uh, source properties, okay? And you can choose what kind of pattern you want. And what I usually do, um, I want to unclick this so I can customize it. And what I usually do is I either pick all A's or all B's. So it's all one click instead of the the different sound on every fourth click because if I'm playing in an odd bar I don't want to hear that so what I'll do is I'll do all A's or all B's apply um, and let's take a listen to that okay and that's about it. It is that simple. We can open it back up. Let's hear what the the bees sound like. B B B B. Okay, let's hear those. So that's the snare, I would say, and the other one would be the bass. This is the one that I I use a lot because it's easy to hear for the drummer trying to hear the click and play along to it. It's a lot brighter. In a one, two, three, four, dan, 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 that's how you do it. It's really easy to click. There you go, folks. <laughs> that was uh, how I set up clicks in Reaper. I hope that helped. And have a good one. <laughs>